Excuse me, was you saying something? Uh-uh, you can't tell me nothing. <clears throat> mm. Somebody throw chakras opening up. That's exactly what I'm getting here. Somebody throw chakras opening up. And you got some things you want to say. You got some things you want to get off your chest. Let's see what this energy is about here. Yeah, somebody got something that they want to say. Like, you could have been somebody that was, like, picked on a lot here, bullied a lot. And you kept so much stuff in. But now you're starting to get older. You're starting to expand yourself. Starting to become more aware. Starting to stick up for yourself. Stand up for yourself. And you got some things that you want to say to a couple of people that, you know, they envy you. But they want to make peace, though. Because they regret what they've done. But these people can't be trusted here. What's the energy here? Uh-uh, you can't tell me nothing. But let me tell you about yourself, though. That's the second one I'm getting here. We got imagination. I embrace and nurse the creative aspect of my mind. Somebody got something on their mind here. Something on their mind. What's the energy of these people I'm picking up on? The my collective about to go the fuck off on. Look at that. They grieving. These people are in grief. Grief for judgment. They about to be judged by you. And they're going to be appalled. That's what I'm getting here. They're going to be appalled. Like, oh, damn. Well, they are appalled, too. I'm also getting that they are appalled because you let these people go. You place judgment on these people. You seen them for exactly who they were. And how they just wanted to be around you to, like, belittle you. Uh-uh, you can't tell me nothing, but you about to, somebody about to, you been said enough for yourself. Your throat chakra is open here. Clarify imagination. Like, you're not taking nobody else's bullshit. That's what I'm getting here. We got the five of wands. I'm telling you something is on your mind. Something on, on their mind. You on a lot of people's mind. That's what it is. This is these people having you on their mind. They're fighting right now about who said what, who did this, who did that, and how much of somebody did. It don't matter about all that. The fact that you just did something, you just said something, they wanted to go against somebody, wanted to pick on somebody, wanted to bully somebody, that's all that matters here. Clarify this five of wands with imagination. I'm talking about wishing nothing but ill will on you. We got the word in reverse, baby. Oh, my goodness. They are a lot, these people's word is being shaken up right now. That whole world is upside down right now. Like the divine is the divine is delivering karma to some people here. Literally. They're having a lot of bad luck. A lot of bad luck. Mm. What's that they feel? Hold on, y'all. One of my cards fell. Two of my cards fell. Let's see what this is. Ooh, we got the five of pentacles with the four of cups. Baby, bad luck. They having bad luck. Look, they, they didn't did so much. They can't even look, look at what's behind them no more. Like, I believe... <laughs> I don't know why, but usually this card means that life is not over for you. And the divine it still has a surprise for you, but you just you just have to pick yourself back up. But I'm getting that this is somebody's karma. Like this is somebody's karma being dished to me. I mean the divine got another cup for him. Another cup of ass whooping for him. Like, oh my goodness. That's what I'm getting here with this card. Wow. Like people are leaving them out in the cold. Their, their finances are going down the drain, maybe losing their job here, maybe having car troubles. People are looking at these people for exactly who they are. People are being seen for who they are here. That's what I'm getting here. Clarify this four of cups. We got the king of cups. This could be a masculine, a Scorpio. Heavy on Scorpio. This is a this is some a particular a masculine here I'm getting. What's this four of cups with the king of cups? One of them catty ass masculines. Look, look the devil. The devil. This person is being seen as for exactly who they are. They are very, very demonic here. This person is evil minded, scandalous, 
conniving, cutthroat. I'm talking about like cutthroat like a motherfucker. But they come off as so loving and so and so peaceful and so helping. But they only do that so they can backstab people. Pray about this five of pentacles. And these and people are leaving them on the cold. Eight of Cubs. I'm telling you. They're being seen for who they are. We got the King of Wands. Somebody just want control over people. This is somebody that want to be real bossy. This is heavy on a gay energy. I'm thinking about somebody here that is uh this gay. This person is uh gay because this is that the energy I'm getting here. I'm getting that energy. And this people is leaving. A lot of people are leaving this person out in the cold. Don't nobody want you having control over their life, always telling them what the fuck to do and shit. Like, no, like, I, I had a friend like this, seriously. I had a friend like this. So I know exactly what this is talking about. I'm talking about very bossy and want to say, that's not to say this this is about that person. It could be about that person, but so many other people too, because there's so many masters out here that are gay that's just like this. Want to have control over people all the damn time. Tell them what to do. How to control their own life. Mm -mm. I can't wait to do a story time about that. Yeah. And they cold hearted as fuck. This person cold hearted as shit. Cold. What's this double? What's the double? Specifically. I'm talking about very cold hearted. We got the Empress in reverse and jealous. I'm telling you, this person is fucking jealous. With the Empress in reverse, like this is a masculine and feminine energy. They're gay. This is a gay person. Like literally, literally. I ain't the only person that's had a friend like this. I'm talking about catty as hell. And they've been, they're, they're karma. They've been dished out their karma. That's what this is. Clarify this judgment. We got the three of pentacles. They burn dish out their karma, and so is the other. They they teamed up with somebody else here, and all of them are being dished their karma here. That's why imagination came out. You are on a lot of people's mind here. They teamed up against you, especially for the ones that listen and didn't even get your side of the story. Ooh, we. That's why you can't be doing stuff like that, like believing what somebody is saying about somebody and you don't even know this person. You ain't even heard this person's side of the story. You don't even know why this person is saying these things about this individual. And you just believe in them, wanted to go against them as well. What's this third point of here with judgment? When you got the son, they ask being exposed and being seen for who they are, backstabbers, people that cannot be trusted here, they cannot be trusted. I could have sworn I showed their car earlier in this deck right here. They cannot be trusted. But they come off so loving, like an empath. But they're not. Clarify grief. This person is in the exact same energy that they want you to be in. We got the nine of cups. Now they, they, they're in defense mode. This person's in defense mode. Like, how dare you leave by my side? How dare you say you don't stop talking to me? Who do you think you are? Like, this is <laughs> Who do you think you are? What does nine of cups say with grief? I don't even want to say this energy too long. I got the food. And this person feeling fulfilling really, really foolish here. That you spend any of your power here. And you call judgment. This is you. Like I said, you call judgment on these people because now you're standing in your power. These are, these are people that don't like the fact that you're so creative here. I'm telling you, I resonated with this story so much, y'all. So much. It's crazy. So much. They don't like the fact that you're so fucking creative. And they're being handed judgment, not only by you, but by the divine. For trying to go against you when they could have just been minding their own fucking business. Don't like the fact that you're beautiful, that you're creative, that you're so strong. And it's like the more these people bullied you and picked on you, the stronger you got. Heavy on Leo energy here. You could be a Leo. This person could be a Leo. <clears throat> mm -hmm. What energy is my collective, man? <clears throat> we got guilt. 
And you could be like, I'm getting here, like you could like suffer from um like guilt energy here, like feeling guilty for walking away. But yeah, this is you. Like it fell right on top of the five of pentacles because you could have felt guilty for leaving these people out in the cold. But what you didn't realize is that these people had you on an illusion. It was all an illusion. They wanted you to feel bad. These people know about your past here. They know that you got picked on before. They know that you got bullied before. And they continue that cycle to have you feeling real guilty. This is a wound here. You may be healing from some type of guilt wound, but wanting to stand up for yourself and feeling bad about it. Don't feel bad about standing up for yourself. Stand up for yourself. Tell these motherfuckers what's on your mind. Period. Clarify guilt. Say some lines. Hit me on Leo energy. Stand up for yourself. If it, if it, if it need, if need be, if this uh comes comes around for you, stand up for yourself. What's the six of wands of a guilt? So if you coming out victorious, look at that eight of cups with the page of wands. I'm telling you, walking away. You walked away from these people, and you walked away for good. And now karma is about to be on their ass. That's what I'm getting here. You could possibly be a Leo, but I'm more so getting like karma being dished out next year. Because you know, next year is the year to eight. Saturn. Saturn rules karma. Saturn is the planet of karma. Saturn about to be on somebody's ass. It's already starting. In numerology, the next year actually starts in October. But as time goes on and on, these people are slowly being dished their karma here. And it's more than one person. But the main person here is this gay man. <laughs> this gay male. That's, that's what the main person is here. That's what I'm getting. One in full control over people in their life here. And these women that went in that they helped, you know, go against you with this person, they're gonna regret it. They are going to regret it. Because it was all for nothing. It was all for nothing. Like, seriously. And all you was doing was minding your business. Let's get an outcome here. What's the outcome here? I don't even want to be in this too long. These people are trying to be all in your business. Talk about pulling up all type of information about you just to make you sad, just to gossip about you, spread lies about you, spread your business. Whether it was true or not, it don't matter. It's not your fucking business to spread. Like, what you mean? Mind your fucking business. What you got going on with yourself and your life? That's all that matters. What's the outcome here? There was too many cards. We got the eight of wands in the fail, right on top of the five of wands. Attack. Return to center. This is exactly what this is. It's a return to center. Clarify this eight of wands. This is a return to center. Eight of pentacles with the page of pentacles. Yeah, all that work. These people got close to you just to shit on you, just to make you feel bad emotionally. These people was talking to you, your emotions here. What you want these people to know, Divine? What you want these people to know? We got service. I feel good when I can help others. And look at that freedom with trust at the bottom of that. These people know that you freed yourself from them because they cannot be trusted. And they knew that they could be trusted. And again, your heart space with the purple and the blue with the throat chakra. Like you standing up for yourself. You're not putting up people bullshit no more. Coming around trying to affect your heart and making you trying to make you feel bad because you standing up for yourself. Like, no, fuck that. And they're gonna try to make peace with you too. Nah, no, ain't no ain't no making no motherfucking peace. Ain't no making no peace. Stand up for yourself. Guard yourself. These people know that you're a very peaceful person, that you're very loving, you're very kind, and you're easily forgiven. Now, you forgive, um, forgive from a mile away. That's what I'm saying. Forgive from a mile away. Stand in your truth. Stand on your truth. Period. Clarify this service. We got the two of cups with the three of cups. 
That's crazy. Oh my goodness. Like, that's awesome. I'm getting here. That's what the divine wants you, uh, these people to know. That all you was, do you was sent into these people's life to be a service for them, to help them, to help guide them, to help better them, to, to show them what genuine love is. Like, seriously, with this two of cups and three of cups, you was sent here to help these people. But they, they, these are the type of people in the type of energy of, they think that they're better than you. Like, it's, like just point this ass energy. You are some you somebody you you chosen you chosen, and you're sitting some people life for a reason, and they didn't they didn't pass the test unfortunately. You were sent to heal these people from all their wounds from all their trauma here, and now they having to sit with it because because of their jealousy because of their envy, they're having to sit with it and heal themselves. They hide behind material things. They hide look at that knife sword. They. They having to heal themselves here. I mean, it's burdening these people to find out who you truly were. Look at that. To find out who you truly were to them and why you were stepping into their life and they did this stuff to you. Not even knowing who you were. What's this nine of swords? 